Hello, welcome to Rituals Yoga. I'm Debra, and this practice is focusing on slowing things down. It's going to be a little bit of a softer and more gentle practice, and it can be really good to do when you are in a time where you're working really hard or you're overstressed or you're overdriven and you find that your energy levels are getting depleted. And this practice is gonna help restore where you feel a little bit out of balance. So when you're ready, let's begin. We're actually gonna start this practice kneeling down on the floor. So just come to a kneeling position. And if this is hard for you to sit on your heels, go ahead and bring a cushion between your heels and your hips so you can kind of sit back in a more supported way. You're gonna bring your hands just to the tops of your thighs and you're gonna allow your eyes to close. And taking a moment here just to find a moment of centering. First being aware of your body here on the mat. And then being aware of your breath. Beginning to lengthen the duration of your inhale and lengthen the duration of your exhale. And as we breathe, as you inhale, move the energy from the base of the spine all the way up to the crown of the head. And as you exhale, moving the energy from the crown of the head all the way back down to the base of the spine. So inhaling, drawing the breath up, to the crown of the head and exhaling the breath moves down to the base of your spine good and then with the cushion either kind of where it is or move it out to the side again come sitting on your heels you're going to inhale reach your prayer out and up over your head Touch the palms together, gaze up to your thumb, and exhale, bring the hands back behind you, interlace your fingers, open the front of your chest. Just start to feel that opening through the shoulders. It gets really rounded from sitting all day, carrying things. So reversing that kind of natural closing of the chest here. Be here for one more breath. Good, and then inhale, reach your arms up. And exhale, take this left hand to the floor and reach the right arm up to the side and over. And let your right hip kind of come over off of your right heel. So you're really lengthening along the whole right side of your body. And you're breathing the inhalation into the ribs on the right side. And you're reaching strong through your fingertips as you pull down through your right hip. Good, coming back up to center, right arm down, left arm up. First reach, get long, and then take the right hand to the floor, the hips shift over to the side, and coming into a side stretch. Should feel really good along the whole left side of your body. Again, sometimes when we're overworked or overstressed, the breath is really short. So through this practice, I wanna invite you to have a nice long, deep and slow breath. Good, coming back up to center, both arms up this time, inhale. And exhale, interlace the opposite thumb in front. So whatever thumb you had in front before you reverse the grip. So your fingers, hands are together like this in yoga mudra. Draw the hands back, draw the elbows back, the shoulders back. Again, opening the front of the chest. And then release that. And slowly come forward to a hands and knees position. You're gonna find a table here. And you're just gonna slowly with the breath open up the spine. So inhaling, dropping the tailbone, the belly down, tailbone lifts, lifting the head. 
Exhale, rounding the spine, pressing the hands down into the mat, lifting the back of your heart, the shoulder blades up to the ceiling. Inhaling, cat lift position. Again, taking everything a little bit slower here than normal. Exhaling, rounding the spine. So we're consciously slowing down. Inhale, cat lift. When we do things slowly, it induces awareness. And exhale, rounding the spine. One more, inhaling forward, cat lift. And exhaling, cat tuck. Good, coming to a neutral spine, and just pressing back into a downward facing dog here. Spreading your fingers and not taking this too deep, maybe bending your right and your left knee. A little bit of a softer pose. We are not pushing in this practice. We're actually probably holding back a little bit to create softness through the body. Making sure we stay open and receptive. Good, and then slowly walk your feet forward. You can bend your knees or with straight legs, coming to a standing forward fold at the front of your mat. And micro bend the knees and slowly, slowly with the breath as you inhale and exhale. Come all the way up to standing. Your head and your shoulders are the last thing to come up. And once you get up, just allow yourself a moment here, again on your feet. Not needing to really do anything here in standing, except for straighten your posture. So try not to have a slouched posture. We often walk around like that all day instead opening that shoulders up and back, lengthening your tailbone down. Begin to feel yourself nice and long and open here in a standing posture. Good. We're not gonna do too many standing poses, we're just gonna do one or two. Okay, so what you're gonna do here is you're gonna step your left foot back. If I drew a line from your front heel, it would intersect the middle of your back foot. Moving into triangle pose, you're going to bring the hands out to the side. You're going to reach forward all the way, bringing the right hand to the shin and bringing the left hand up. Trikonasana, triangle pose. This pose works almost every part of your body. So see here if you can feel the feet pressing down, the right hip drawing underneath you, and the left fingertips reaching towards the sky. Your gaze, if it's okay on your neck, is towards your left thumb. Otherwise, if your neck is sore, you can always gaze down at your front toes. And breathe here for two more breaths. Good, slowly coming back up, stepping that left foot forward, hands to the heart. Take a moment here. Good, and then stepping that right foot back, your heel is in line with the inner arch of your foot. You're going to reach forward as far as you can. Open the hip and then left hand down, right hand up. And again, keep drawing that left hip underneath you. The right hip opens, gazing up towards your right thumb. Breathe. About two more breaths here, really feeling the fullness of this pose each aspect of the posture. Good, slowly come back up and then step your right foot to the front. Bring your hands to the heart in prayer position and breathe. Good, moving into Parjvottanasana. So bringing your left foot back, this right foot stays straight. We're gonna keep the hands at the hips this time. If you want a little bit deeper of a stretch, feel free to take your elbows back behind you, or you can even move into a reverse prayer position if you'd like, letting the hands come up in prayer towards the center of your back, okay? But since we're being a little bit more easy and gentle, I'm gonna keep the hands on the hips, and you're gonna slowly come halfway down first. As you come halfway down, notice how you have a tendency to put the weight in your front leg. I want you to push back into your back leg so you feel both legs really strong in this posture. 
and then draw this left hip down, your right hip open. You might stay here, and that's perfect. Otherwise, you bring your hands to the floor on either side of your foot, lengthen as you breathe in, and exhale, fold over your front leg. Breathe. Again, balance is never about pushing past wherever it is that we feel comfortable. So not pushing or straining in any posture. This whole practice, you shouldn't be straining. So if you're straining, come out and take an easier variation, okay? There's no goal here in yoga. We're simply being with the body and being with the breath. Good. Micro bend your front knee, bring the hands to the hips, step the left foot forward, step the right foot back, and breathe in. Hands to the hips or whatever you did on the other side, elbows, reverse prayer. Inhale, lift your heart up and exhale halfway down. Again, press the weight into that back foot, drop the right hip down, lengthen the torso, and maybe your hands come to the floor, and you begin to bow the head towards the toes, finding length along the whole back of your left leg. Sometimes in yoga, our practice is not even to take the posture as deep as the body can go. Sometimes our practice is just to be with a really comfortable stretch, knowing that for now, that's enough. Good, and then micro bend your front knee. Come all the way up to stand. Bring your hands to your hips and step your right foot forward. Release the hands to prayer position in front of your heart and take a moment here to breathe. Okay, and we're just gonna do one balancing posture before we move to the floor. So here, you're just gonna take your left knee and raise it up. If this is hard for you, feel free just to tap your toe. So find what feels right. So holding here, just keeping your hands at the heart and your leg is lifted. So a really simple variation of this posture. You still feel the body working, but notice how you don't feel like you're overexerting. You keep that energy nice and steady, but also really open. Drop that left foot to the floor and lift the right knee. Hands stay at the heart and breathe. Find somewhere on the floor to gaze at, holding your gaze nice and still. And then gently, that right foot comes back down. Inhale, lift your arms slowly, out and up overhead. And exhale, lower down. Very slow, we're moving almost in slow motion here. Inhale, you're gonna rise up halfway. Exhale, fold. Good. From here, just go ahead and bend your knees. Come sitting back down onto the floor. And bring the soles of the feet together. Your knees are out wide. So moving into Baddha Konasana. Again, not forcing yourself to go too far here. Go ahead and reach your heart towards your toes. As the knees move towards the floor, and it's not about how far you take this pose, it's just how and where you feel the stretch and the opening in the body. And work in partnership with your breath. The breath is there to serve your practice of yoga. So as you inhale, breathe in, and as you exhale, kind of direct the breath to wherever it is that you're feeling the tension or the stretch in the body. See if you can melt that sensation away with your exhale. With each breath, the body becomes more open, more supple. One more breath. And slowly coming back up, bring the soles of the feet to the floor. You're gonna cross your right ankle over your left knee, and this might be a good stretch where you just hold here. If you want more of a stretch, scoot your bum up next to your heels, 
and lengthen here as you allow that right hip to begin to tell you lots of fun stories. <laughs> you should feel a pretty intense stretch in the hip, but again, not taking it to a place where your body starts to shut down. Stay open. Sometimes I sound like a broken record, but it's those simple reminders that we need to hear again and again because the patterns of the mind can be very strong. So the way we're used to thinking, the way we're used to pushing the body, right? those tend to take control. Whereas if you start to hear the opposite again and again, at some point it starts to stick. So releasing the hips back if you move them forward, crossing that left foot on top of the right knee. Again, maybe you hold here. You might even need to scoot back if your hips are super tight. If your hips are a little more open, scoot your hips forward and actively kind of draw that left knee away from your chest. And think about creating length in your spine. Breathing, remember the exhalation, right into the area where you feel that tension. If you feel your body is clenching or tightening, back off a little bit. Stay in that comfortable place. One more breath. Good, and then slowly release back both feet out in front of you. Take your right knee and cross it over, your right foot over your left knee. Lift your right hand up and then twist it back behind you. Good, lift your left hand up and take your left elbow to the outside of your right knee. Lengthen your torso and begin to twist. Looking over your right shoulder. With every inhalation, think about lengthening your spine. And with every exhalation, maybe you take the twist a little bit deeper. Good, and slowly untwist. Take hold of the outside of your right foot with your left hand, and you might hold here, knee is bent, right hand comes off the floor, or you might straighten the leg and gaze back. Now here, try not to round. Think about lifting up as if you're sitting on just the tip of your tailbone. Breathe. Good, slowly release that and come back to center before you go to the other side. Find a moment. You might even feel the difference between your right and your left side. <sighs> Way more open here. So take the left foot outside of the right knee, lift that left arm, take the arm back behind you, right elbow to the outside of the left knee, lift and twist and breathe. Again, inhale, lengthen, exhale, twist, taking your time. One more breath, twists are so good for the internal organs, the spine, digestive system. Slowly come back to center. Whatever you did on the other side, you're committed here. So your right hand outside of the foot, maybe the knee is bent, maybe the knee is straight. And again, lift up in this posture. Don't round or sink down. Think about lifting the head towards the ceiling. Good, and then slowly release. Good. You're going to take your right foot, place it in front of your left. You're going to inhale, you're going to lift and lengthen your spine. And you're going to exhale, fold forward over that right leg. So this is a stretch into your right hip. If your forehead easily touches the ground here, I'm going to give you a variation that's harder. Okay? But if you're not at the ground, stay here. Option two, you're going to stack your right shin on top of your left shin so that your your shins are parallel. You're going to inhale here and you're going to exhale. Fold for as far or as deep as you'd like and breathe. Forward folds have a calming effect on the mind and the nervous system. They tend to draw the energy inwards. So just allow that to happen here. 
One more breath, in and out. And then slowly walking back up. So whatever you did, switch sides. Maybe your left foot is just in front of you. Otherwise, make sure this foot stays flexed. You stack the shins on top of each other. Left shin is on top. You're gonna breathe in and you're gonna exhale and fold forward. Breathe out. The sequence of seated postures is also really good to do after you have done some exertion. If you've worked out or if you've gone for a run, um, this is, can be also a really good kind of sequence to help to open and restore the body. So take it as deep as you'd like, one more breath. And slowly coming back up. Good. And just here, take your legs straight. And for a moment, just shake the legs right and left. Like, let your whole legs just be really jelly, right? So you're just shaking left and right. No tension in your muscles. And then point your right foot and draw your left foot back. And then reverse that. And do that a couple of times. Feeling length and moving in opposite directions. Good. And slowly come laying down on your back. Now I'm going to invite you at this point of the practice, if you have a cushion, go grab it, or if you have it near you. If you don't have a meditation cushion, anything works. A stack of towels, a stack of blankets, a few cushions. Just try to make them have a, try to make it a little bit hard, okay? Not too soft. So you're going to come laying down on your back. So we're going to move into just a simple variation of bridge pose to begin. So ground your feet down into the floor, press into the feet to lift your hips. Your shoulders are going to stay grounded. Your hips lift gently. Take a breath in and exhale very, very slowly. Lower the hips back down to the floor. Good. Inhaling, lifting the hips back up. Exhale slowly, moving with intention, lowering those hips back down. Good, two more. Inhale, lifting up. Feel the extension in your lower back. Exhale, coming back down. Really take your time, don't rush. One more, inhaling up. And exhaling, releasing down. Good, take a moment here, just with a neutral spine. And then we're going to move into bridge pose. So kind of bringing the shoulders left and right so you can draw them underneath you. Hands are interlaced. Fingers in yoga mudra. Draw your feet down to lift your hips up. Bridge pose. And don't take this too deep. We haven't done too much to open up the front line of the body in the back. So just taking it easy here, but feeling also a nice opening in your low back and your chest. One more breath, maybe lift a little higher and exhale slowly again with intention, lower all the way back down onto your back. Good. Take a moment here, neutral spine. And this is the part of the practice where I want to invite you to find your cushion or stack of towels or whatever it is that you have and go ahead and bring it to the base of your spine. So right at the sacrum, the tailbone. So when you lower down onto the cushion, it should feel really secure and really good. If it doesn't feel that way, shift it up or down until you feel really kind of secure and good on the pillow. So we're going to hold a supported bridge pose just for a few minutes. Feeling the cushion supporting your back. Keeping your breath slow and steady. Now if this feels good, you can just hold here. Otherwise, one option is to take your hands to your elbows and let the arms fall back over your head and another option is to also straighten your legs out and allowing the whole line of the body to be nice and long so you feel the length 
from the elbows all the way through the reach of the toes. And breathe. If anything that you do here feels uncomfortable or feels a bit intense, then just back off and come to an easier variation. This should feel really good, really supported. Take one more breath in and out. And then slowly bringing your hands down to the floor, bend your knees, soles of the feet on the floor. And we're gonna lift the legs straight so that the soles of the feet face the ceiling. And your legs are nice and straight and engaged. And this is like a, a mini inversion. So we're getting the benefits of an inversion because the blood is circulating in the opposite direction. Our feet are above our heart and our head. So flexing your feet here. If this is hard for you, you can always just bend your knees a little bit and hold in a slightly more gentle position. Otherwise, grounding through the base of the spine into the cushion and just feeling this posture for a moment. Keep your breath full. Taking your time to fully experience this posture. Notice if your mind has a tendency to want to move on, jump ahead, what's next? Just be here for a moment. all the little nuances of the pose. What do you feel? Good, and slowly bend your knees, bring the feet back to the floor. Lift the hips off of the cushion, move it out from underneath you, and very, very, very slowly lower down one vertebrae at a time, as slow as you can go. Really take your time to come down to the floor. Good. Bring your hands to your belly for a moment. Take a breath, inhaling through your nose. Exhaling through your mouth. See if you can feel that kind of gentle, steady, balanced energy that we're maintaining and creating throughout the practice. And then take your arms out to the side, cross your right leg on top of your left, shift the hips to the right and let your knees fall to the left, gaze over your right shoulder. You're letting your body literally kind of unwind. If you notice your mind is busy or planning other things, just come back to an awareness of your breath. Good, and then slowly back up to center, uncross the legs, left knee over the right, hips come to the left, knees to the right, gaze over your right shoulder, and breathe. See if for a moment you can just be with this practice without judging it, without making an opinion, good or bad, like or dislike. Just be with the practice. Good, and then slowly coming back to center. Get the spine straight, draw the knees in towards your chest. Maybe rock side to side a little bit. If 
feeling massage into your low back and then extend the legs out for Shavasana, corpse pose, letting your legs just really release out to the side, your arms a little wide so you're, you have space in between your body and your hands, palms face up. Sometimes when we have a tendency to go into overdrive, we really need to return to a practice that consciously puts on the brakes. We may feel uncomfortable in the practice. We may form opinions one way or another. But if we're truly seeking balance, often we gravitate to that which is already out of balance. So this practice intentionally slows you down, especially this last posture, Shavasana. I'm gonna invite you to stay here for a little bit longer than you would naturally come out. So once you feel that impulse, like, okay, I'm done, I want you to stay just for another half a minute. Nothing super important is gonna happen in those 30 seconds. And if it does, you'll be there 30 seconds later. Staying where you are. Thank you all for joining this practice of balance, consciously slowing ourselves down. And I hope to see you again very soon. Namaste.